all right what is going on guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to be looking at the kits for the actual units so here we have vegeta legends limited margin vegeta so at his base form he has vegeta family saying super saiyan okay well these are the tags he has so when you pull him he's going to be at two stars and when you train him he's going to be a level 5000 so at his base stats 1.4 million health that's very very low 146 thousand strike attack okay that is what it is and then the strike defense is 98,000 the blast attack 139 and the blaze blast defense 97,000 so he is actually a strike oriented unit so let's quickly transform him right here okay so you can see his health it goes 1.5 million and then the strike attack it goes up 20,000 right there and if we go back to base so his strike defense goes up so his strike defense and blast defense are super low they barely make it to 100,000 and just a little bit more over and then his blast attack goes up 21,000 so his defense is extremely terrible extremely terrible and his hp too it's not good it's not very 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 bad compared to some other units wow it's looking let's see if his kit makes up for it though here we go baby man ability farewell prideful warrior Draw a special move arts card next. Restore his own key by 50. So when you draw it, you'll immediately be able to start it up. And then you'll get 100% your damage inflicted by the next special move arts card used. And it cannot be cancelled. Gain buff effect nullifies enemies' special actions that activate when changing color for 10 timer counts. Cannot be cancelled. Requirements 15 timer counts must be allowed. Only 15. Okay. Unique ability. Unyielding decision 40% of damage inflicted against character Goku and it cannot be cancelled at all Applies the following affects itself when this character enters the battlefield So he restores his own key by 40 50% of damage inflicted and he reduces damage he saved by 30% when he enters the battlefield And he gets an additional 30% of damage inflicted for 20 timer counts if your opponent does not have a remaining character Goku battle member Clashing pride 30% strike damage inflicted after transforming. Apply the following effects itself every time an enemy uses strike, blast, or special move arts while this character is on the battlefield. Plus 20% damage inflicted for 20 timer counts and reduces damage received by 10% for 5 timer counts. So there it is for strike, blast, reduces enemy key by 30 on hit. What? Reduces enemy key by 30? That's a lot. That is a lot. Pride Staked Assault deals massive impact damage. Applies the following effects itself upon activation. 30% to damage inflicted against tag regeneration for three timer counts. Can attribute downgrade gain attribute downgrade minus 100% to enemy sustained damage cut effects for three timer counts. Nullifies enemies restore its own health when it reaches zero effects when this character attacks for three timer counts. Blast armor when charging forward. Special skill. The way I was before applies the following effects itself upon activation. Randomly draw one card. Restore its own key by 30. Plus 20% of damage is 50 for 15 timer counts. And you can combo his strike, blast, and special move. And then here we have he holds two strike cards, so that's good since he has a strike in it. And then his second one restores health by 5% when used. So his Z ability at one star is 22% to tag Saiyan base strike attack. And at three stars, it's going to be 24% to attack Saiyan and Vegeta family, base strike attack and defense during battle. So that's good, that's good, that's good. And then if we go back up here, let's actually look at his ability before, his main ability before he transforms. Realize evil spirit. Transform into Super Saiyan 2, Majin Vegeta, restores unhealth by 30%. Cancels own attribute downgrades and only 15 timer counts must elapse. So he doesn't have an ultimate arts he's like the lf piccolo his blue card becomes a lf after you transform so he's looking like a pretty good unit pretty good unit but can't really be judging him right now can't really say he's bad until he actually gets released and we actually see some hands-on gameplay from youtubers that actually do end up summoning him here we have perfect form cell look at that amazing amazing so when you pull him he's going to be at two stars level 5000 when you level him up too so his health it's 1.2 million that is pretty low and then his strike attack is 146,000 
strike defense is 55,000. His blast attack is 144,000. And his blast defense is 56,000. So his, I mean, okay, yeah. So he's looking like he's going to be a glass, like huge, huge, huge glass cannon. Look at that. Just look at his defenses. Even like after he transforms, his defenses are just booty cheeks, like legit booty cheeks. And he has less health than Majin Vegeta, actually, after he, even though he trans, he's transformed. Yes, he still does. He ate 1.5 million and he has 1.4 million. I mean, 1. oh, they're both basically the same. Yeah, they're exactly identical, basically. So that's what it's looking like right there. And then if we compare their strike attack, Vegeta's got less. How does Vegeta have less strike attack when Vegeta, what? Are you kidding me? How does he have less? That's definitely strange. And then strike defense, 83,000. Vegeta's is 103,000. So Vegeta has more strike defense. Blast attack for Cell is 180,000. And then for Vegeta, it's 160,000. And then for blast defense, it's 84,000. And for Vegeta, it's 100,000. So Vegeta is more defense based, even though he's supposed to be a strike unit because Cell is definitely more offensive on the stats wise at least but we'll have to wait for the kits because the damage inflicted is actually going to boost his attack so it might actually be more than so so we'll just you know i'm saying we'll just have to wait to see how much you know it actually impacts his damage so you can see right here so he has no strike defense no blast defense his power is up there his strike attack blast attack is up there his health is up there but he's really lacking in defense. And then here we have Vegeta, he's pretty much kind of covered almost everywhere. But you can still see that for his blast attack and his strike attack, it's still not it's still not that high, you know what I'm saying? But here we have the kit. The so let's go to base form. Draw a special arts card next, plus 30% to damage to forget for 30 time accounts. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade, plus 20% to damage received for 60 time accounts. Requirements 10 time accounts must elapse. So, wait, actually, I think he has a different unique ability when he transforms. He does. Wow, okay. So, shocking resurrection transform into perfect cell with 100% health when HP reaches zero. Shorten's own substitution count by one every time another battle member is hit with an enemy strike, blast, or special move art attack. Activates 10 times. Perfected power applies the following effects to self when battle starts plus 30% to damage inflicted for 50 time accounts plus 20% to damage inflicted for 25 time accounts restores on key by 30 when this character enters the battlefield. So he's looking to be kind of okay when he's actually not transformed, but the whole point of him is to die so he can transform. So he's not going to be hitting nearly as much as he should be when he's not transformed because, again, the point for him is to actually die you can try to deal you know some damage before he transforms but you're not going to be dealing nearly as any whereas he is transformed as you can see right here so his main ability none of you will walk away draw a special move arts card next restores own key by 50 plus 30 percent to blast damage requirements 10 timer counts must elapse unique ability transformed power up applies the following effects to self when after transforming 60% of damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. Reduces damage received by 30% for 20 timer counts. Minus 10 to blast arts cost cannot be cancelled. Cancels attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions. Unlimited power. Applies the following effects itself when this character enters the battlefield. Draw a special arts card next. Restores key by 30. Plus 50% of special move damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. So the first unique ability after he transforms. He'll get a permanent, a permanent buff of 60% to damage inflicted, and then he'll reduce damage received by 30% for 20 time accounts, then minus 10 to blast or so it's looking like he's going to be blast oriented as you can see right there, but it's looking, it's looking like he is more strike oriented, but I guess they're trying to balance it out kind of like Shalit, where he's good in really both areas of damage dealing for strike for arts cards. So his second main ability when he enters the battlefield, he'll draw a blast arts card next. So that's guaranteed, kind of like the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the green one. And then he'll restore Onki by 30. And then 50% of special move damage to 50 for 20 time account. So you definitely want to try to take advantage of that. If you do have a special move arts card, you definitely want to try to take advantage of that. And here we have a strike card, the basic. Here we have a special move cost down. 
minus five to own special move arts card for 15 timer counts on hit. So once you land this one, that the other minus five, you'll get minus five on each one for the next 15 timer counts. Special move deals massive impact damage, applies the falling effects itself upon activation. Plus 20% to damage effective for 20 timer counts. Gain attribute upgrade. Minus 50% to enemy sustained damage cut. Effects for 3 timer counts. Blast armor when charging forward. So we already saw in the trailer he does have blast armor with his boot card. And then he gets 20% to damage affected for 20 timer counts. So on top of the buff where he comes in and you know for transforming. If you can actually activate that quickly and you can take advantage of using a blue card. So, you can see that buff right there, 50% to damage effect for 20 timer counts. So when he enters the battlefield, he gets that buff. So he gets that buff, and then when he transforms, he gets 60% to damage effect. So if you can get your hands on a blue card within 20 timer counts when he enters the battlefield and you can land it, you'll get a 70% buff to damage effect 20 timer counts. And if you land it, you'll get that. So it'll deal even more damage. And he gains, he's going to be dealing even more damage on top of that because he's going to be taking 50% off to the enemy sustained damage cut effects. So that's insane right there. And he has blast armor too, so that's just the chair on top. The following effects occur on hit for his death beam. Immobilizes the enemy, similar to Freeze's immobilization card. 20% to damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. And then it inflicts with the enemy attribute downgrade plus 50% to damage inflicted damage received for 15 timer counts and then he holds, he holds two blast cards and then so at one star at two stars he's going to tag android 22% for base battle type at two three stars though he's going to buff bridge oh, wow you kidding me regeneration does not need any more units regeneration does not need any more units so Perform cell, he's gonna be buffing 20% to tag Android or regeneration for base pass attack. I don't know, man. I have no idea what they're, they're thinking for regeneration, but it is what it is. It's not like they have a Zenkai 7 DKP already. Okay, all right, all right, bet, bet Bandai. So, yeah, it's looking like. You know, it just is what it is, not big too much. Once again, we'll see once he actually comes out. And then I want to quickly overview the X units. Don't really want to go too into depth with that, but here we are right here. So when the poem, they'll be one star, level up to 5,000. I mean, stats are okay. I don't really care about this. I mean, who's really going to be running these guys? Come on, seriously. So 25% to damage inflicted for 20 timer counts reduces damage received by 25% for 50 timer counts. Cancels own attribute downgrades. Requirements 10 timer counts must elapse. Head on duel reduces damage received from character Vegeta by 20% cannot be canceled. Applies the following effects to self every time when faced with an enemy restores key by 20. Plus 30% to damage effective for 15 timer counts supercharged the battle. The following effects occur after enemy attack is over. Plus 30% to damage Strike damage reflected up to 90% cannot be cancelled. Plus 20% to damage reflected by allies for 20 timer counts. Okay, actually, hold on. I take that back. He might actually be good. So, his main ability, 25 to damage reflected for 50 timer counts. He reduces damage received by 25 and he clears abnormal conditions. Attribute downgrades. And his first unique ability does 20% to Vegeta characters. And then when he's faced with an enemy, he restores... 20 key and 20% 30% of damage afflicted for 15 timer counts. And then when an enemy attack is over, he gets 30% to strike damage afflicted and then 20% to damage afflicted by allies. So if you can actually take advantage of this to the maximum, you'll be getting 90, 120, 145% damage afflicted. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 100, wow. 100 that is crazy 120 145 percent in damage effect are you kidding me dude that's actually going to be crazy if you can take advantage of that of that that's going to be crazy so blast start strike card nothing special about that and then his super kamehameha deals major impact damage inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 20 percent to strike damage received for 20 timer counts on hit unlocks key from life form of life 
Restore his own health by 10%. 20% to attack damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. So when you pull him, he's going to give 20% to attack Saiyan based strike attack. And then he's going to be giving 24% to attack Saiyan base strike and blast attack. So you can see the change right there. And then he's not going to be buffing two tags. He's just going to be buffing Saiyan. Here I have EX Videl. One star, 5,000. 1.3 million health. Yeah, these are like AX stats, you know. AX stats. It is what it is. You know, she's basically has the same stats as Monster Vegeta, to, to be honest. So, let's see at three stars. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. So, right there, main ability plus 80% to strike damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. And it inflicts all enemies with attribute where, where they, it takes 10 self destruction count. Okay. So, they're not going to be able to tag in. And then turn number time counts must elapse. So the unique ability and dominable spirit applies the following effects itself when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 20% of damage for 15 time accounts reduces damage received by 20% for 15 time accounts. So when they enter, they get 20% to the enemy and 20% received. So they get damage reduction and they deal more damage. Applies the following effects to self according to the number of time accounts elapsed with current character. After 3, 30% to strike damage inflicted. After 8, minus 5 to strike arts caused. And then after 12, plus 30% to damage inflicted. So this isn't on the side. They have to be on the battlefield for these buffs to actually activate. So you can't tag in and out and the buff's going to stay permanent. You have to keep them in there. And then once you tag out you, and you tag them back in, you're going to have to wait these timer counts again to actually get the buff. So that's something to keep in mind right there. And then those buffs are kind of basic, not really too much. I mean, sparking units is still going to beat their butts on a, in a 1v1, so um, it's, it's not really a big deal. That's why I don't really like looking at extreme units except for, you know, ones like Evil Boo, where those really stand out. Sealed Battle Spirit plus 40% to strike damage inflicted. 450 timer counts after enemy attack is over, and it reduces damage received by 30% until the combo ends when changing cover. Okay. So if you come in while you're receiving a combo, then you'll get 30% to damage, sustained damage cut. So, I mean, that's good. That's good. That's good. And then after it's over, if you do have her tagged in, then you'll also get 40% to damage inflicted. So that's very, very, very good. So strike and blast, nothing special about that. Special move, it deals massive impact damage. It's a dash forward one, as you can see right there. Special skill, power up. All right, we got this. Restore his own health by 10%. Reduces next damage sustained by 50% cannot be stacked. This applies until enemy combo is finished. So here we have a new female warrior buffer. Plus 20% to tag female warrior base strike and blast defense during battle. Wait, why is go tanks there? No, no, no. This is... Oh, okay. Plus 22% to tag female warrior or element red base strike and blast defense during battle so there it is right there so just wanted to be looking at these units right here so cell is definitely his his animations are definitely clean definitely definitely clean when he transforms it looks very very good and then if you you know you just quickly kind of compare their graph actually where cell is like you know you can see he's not really focused too much on pretty much you know anything he's just kind of there you know what i'm saying because he, he doesn't really look like he's gonna be good but we'll, again we'll have to wait and see until he's actually you know in pvp and we see showcases of him taking advantage of everything anything and everything his kit has to offer their kits have to offer because you don't want to judge it just because on um, you know what you read and stuff we'll have to actually see it in action and how they can actually take advantage of it so other than that that's pretty much just going to be it for this video just wanted to be looking at the kits and at the characters so i don't know i might summon might not but other than that that's going to be it for this video just wanted to be looking at that hopefully if you guys are going to be summoning good luck on that but other than that that is going to be it for this video see you guys in the next one